let me commence by expressing on behalf of Marilyn and myself, it's our prayer that God will bless you richly as you stand on the threshold of this new year. 2015 has been a remarkable time within our movement. It began by the bringing together of several key leaders onto our staff here in Malvern, appointments which I believe will reap the benefits for many years to come. But the highlight, of course, has been the centenary, our celebration of a hundred years of faithful service uh, throughout our movement. And we've done this in some of the largest venues around the country, in which we've seen around 10,000 of our people join with us for these special events. Each has been different and all have had the hallmark of recommitment and consecration upon them, with a number of people coming to Christ for the very first time. The book, the DVD and the CD that were produced has given the opportunity for these precious memories to be retained. This past year has been scarred, however, by tragic events, brutal terrorist attacks, mass migration and the accelerated persecution of Christians around the world. All of this serving to remind us of the purpose and destiny for which we as the people of God have been chosen. Local church is not a destination, but rather a waypoint on the journey to which we've been called as salt and light, a people of influence, catalysts who initiate change. This will be my final New Year message as General Superintendent. When I entered training for the ministry 47 years ago, I had no idea, of course, that I would one day have the privilege of serving our movement as its leader for 16 years. My predecessor, the late Wynne Lewis, entered the ministry at 17 years of age. Had you told him that one day he would take on that mantle, he may have laughed. Had you told him that the two-year-old boy with him in this picture would succeed him, he might say that such a thing was totally beyond belief. The photo, however, highlights the fact that God has a plan and a purpose for every one of us in whatever sphere we serve the Lord. As 2016 begins, may it not only be a time of fulfilled promises for you and those you love, but also the birthing of new dreams and fresh vision for the days that lie ahead. God bless you.